Hello ladies and gentlemen, Clint Seeley here. Um, here we are at the beginning of the digitizing with vector graphics. Uh, this is one of this is one short of many video tutorials that I'm going to have uh, describing the digitizing process in Bernina's Designer Plus series. Okay, today we're going to be using a couple of different programs. We're going to be using, of course, uh, Bernina's Embroidery Software Designer Plus. It's the Plus version. And we're also going to be using Inkscape. This is the program that I had you download and install. It's a vector editing program. All we're going to be using Inkscape for is to basically open a vector file and save it as something else. We do that because the files we're going to be working with, Designer Plus does not care for too much. So, one of the links I provided in the tutorial will lead you here to the Wikipedia Commons. Now, here in the Wikipedia Commons, we have uh, a lot of different SVGs, which are scalable vector graphics. These are vector graphics. Lots of SVG categories. So, go through here, browse through, or just select the graphic that I use. Browse through and find something that you really like. Now we have two rules of thumb because this is a beginner series. Stay away from small lettering. I would suggest staying away from most lettering. Also, I want you to stay away from fine detail. Okay, there's a lot of graphics here. Logos are typically of a lower detail. Okay, there's, they're usually clean, more pronounced lines. So that's why we're going to go into the SVG logos. So you click on that, and as you scroll down, you're going to see there's all different kinds of logos. <clears throat> Go through and select out something that you like, but stay away from lettering, like this here. Okay, this big A might be okay, but stay away from lettering and stay away from fine detail. I found one all the way at the bottom that I like. I think it's called IMO. Because <clears throat> right here, because I like, I'm going to click that guy, I like clean lines. Okay, this is a nice looking logo. So if you want to, just go ahead and follow along with me. Go ahead and download this logo. Right here you can see this is the link to download the IMO logo in an SGV format. So we'll right click, hit save link as, and I'm going to hit save. Now you'll notice it'll download the logo right here into the downloads bar. That's if you're using the Google Chrome browser, which is what I use. I, I have Inkscape's already loaded, so all I'm going to have to do is click and hold and drag that logo over and then drop it. Boom, and there it is. Okay, now it's in Inkscape. Inkscape will open an SVG file, and, and you're more than welcome to play around with the SGV file and, and change things and then save it again. But the only thing that we are using Inkscape for right now is to open this SVG graphic and then save it as a different type of vector. One that Designer Plus will play with, will allow you to digitize with. So we're just going to hit File, Save As. Now see it wants to save it as an SVG. I'm going to call it IMO logo and I'm going to click and go down to the EMF which is en Enhanced Metafile. Go there and hit save and then hit OK and now what we've done is we've saved that as a different type of vector. Bring up uh, the Bernina software and what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Art Canvas. We created a new document. We're on the Art Canvas. We're going to right here load picture. Click that and it's going to open up that and we're going to have to go and find where that IMO logo is right here. Now see it's real small. We hit enter and it's real small. You can just click here and make that guy bigger. Okay, it's scalable. No loss of image quality. Now in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually start digitizing this logo in the Bernina embroidery software. Okay, thanks.